I was working a lot. I was working like two jobs and going to school and stuff. And um, I, my health just started going downhill. I have cystic fibrosis, so there was always something going on. <laughs> and that medical condition severely impacted Kyle Clark's lungs. That's when they're like, we got to get my transplant list like now because <laughs> he ain't going to make it. For Kyle, access to healthier lungs came quick. I just got the transplant not very long afterwards. It didn't take very long. But often the search for an organ takes more time and that search may recover an organ hundreds of miles away, making it challenging to transplant to a recipient in need of donated lungs, which need to be transplant it quickly. Up until this technology um, came to be, we were limited to about four to six hours. But a new technology is working to combat that issue. Gift of Life Michigan is now implementing the use of a transmedics organ care system. This technology can prolong the life of donated lungs for up to 24 hours because this technology mimics a person's body, allowing this device to maintain organs in a living, functional state. Allow us to travel further distances and place lungs with recipients that maybe aren't within the 250 mile proximity that we typically stick with um, before this technology. This technology even helps to recondition the organs to improve the chances of a successful transplant. It'll help us recover lungs that maybe aren't 100% um, transplantable and we can put them on this device and we can resuscitate them in a way that would improve their function. Gift of Life Michigan calls it a game changer. This technology will allow us to, you know, go really from coast to coast um, in trying to find the right recipient for those lungs. If we could increase our transplants by 10 or 20 a year, that would be, be pretty remarkable. This technology is also being tested on other organs. This device, they believe, um, can extend to hearts and possibly livers, and that technology is being tested now in the United States. Kyle, who is married and has two stepsons, enjoys spending time with family and creating artwork. I'm a painter. I like to paint. He says he hopes this technology allows more people to receive an organ transplant. Opens more doors and brings a lot more hope to people. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.